Freight costs skyrocket. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because, well, we're continuing our discussion about freight costs and how they just seem to be skyrocketing more and more. There's an article here from Zero Hedge. But before we look at that, let's just jump over here and have a look at this. 4000 $115 is the global container index at the moment, everyone. That is just crazy. I remember I, I, I was looking at this just recently. 4000 over $4,000, everyone, the current FBX. Okay, in January, or let's go here, you know, March, March last year, we were 1377 just look at that difference in this chart. Look at the difference between last year and this year, everyone. This is not normal. This is not normal. Okay? It's crazy. FBX stands for the Freightos Baltic Index. It is the leading international freight rate, uh, rate index in cooperation with the Baltic Exchange, providing market rates for 40-foot containers. 4000 $115, everyone. Crazy. China to uh, East Asia to America, Northwest, 4-3. North America to China, $762. Everyone. So it's going up as well. China, East Asia to North America, East Coast, $5,659. So it's getting more and more expensive. I've had viewers send me through letters they've been receiving from their international suppliers here in Australia, how costs are going up, freight costs is going up, everything's going up. Now, this is, well, it's obviously going to have an impact on America, but it's also going to have an impact on Australia. Because, well, guys, a lot of stuff is imported in Australia. If we have a look here at our imports, Okay, these are all the things we're exporting. These are all the things that we're importing here. Broadcast equipment, cars, refined petroleum. Oh, well, refined petroleum, the shipping costs won't go up that. But everything that's brought in container equipments, container loads, is going to get more expensive for all of us. If we have a look here at the shipping data around the world, I'll agree. I mean, there you go. We're an interconnected world, everyone. So every one of these green ones is a cargo vessel of varying goods. So this is definitely an important indicator that this is getting so expensive, guys. And then it's going to flow through to the cost of goods. Maybe the Reserve Bank or the RBA or the Fed, they'll get their inflation just by the insane costs spike in importing goods. So the red hot freight market sends used container ship values soaring. No one predicted that the global shipping container industry would be on fire in the last couple of quarters, considering China's robust economic rebound following, following the virus-induced downturn. Container rates have soared since last spring, as there are few signs of immediate cooling. Container ship owners are capitalizing on the red hot ocean freight market by flipping all the ships. Monaco based International Maritime Enterprises sold its container ship Crate 1 for 46 million, more than four times its 2016 value, according to Bloomberg, citing a new industry report via Tradewinds. The market for second hand ships is soaring as the sale of new vessels has sunk in the last couple of years. A typical container ship takes more than one year to build, so boosting new ship supply cannot be readily done. Hence, why demand increase and value ex uh, explosions are being observed on the secondary market. So second-hand ships, guys. We saw it with cars. We saw it with second-hand cars. Now we're seeing it with second-hand container ships. Clarkson Research Services Limited said a 10-year-old container ship with the capacity to haul 6,600 steel boxes, fetches 41 million today. 
That's a considerable jump from its $9.5 million value back in 2016. I mean, that is, that's crazy, everyone. That's crazy. I mean, look at that. There you go. The recent price increases have happened far more quickly than previous sales and purchase cycles, said uh, Stephen Gordon, managing director of Clarkson Research. Recent price trends for 10-year-old vessels have more than doubled in the last six months, whereas in 2016-17 and 20, uh, 2004 and 5, it took nearly 18 months for similar percentage price increases. February was the second highest activity on record for transactions measured in ship container capacity, Gordon said. So chi time charter rates for a 6,800 box container ship have erupted. So chi time charter rate for a three-year hire of a 6,800 container box rate. So you're paying $40,000 a day <clears throat> to charter one for three years. That's Wow, look at that growth. Who's invested in these? Can we get derivatives on the... On, um, Derivatives backed by container ships. I know that there are some Ponzi schemes and scams that pretend to take your money and buy containers and lease them out. And yeah, we looked at that in some previous episodes. Con container shipping data from Freitas and Hyper uh, Peterson and Co. shows container rates have been surging since April, June of 2020. There you go. I mean, it's just, that's just crazy, guys. It is just crazy. Demand for freight containers and the heavy flows from China to the U.S. East Coast has resulted in a shipping container shortage in Asia. In September, we first noted the demand for ocean freight out of China was leading to equipment shortages in Asia. The surge in volumes is leading to equipment shortages in Asia. Some shippers are paying premiums on top of spiking rates to guarantee containers and space. The imbalance is also putting pressure on overwhelmed U.S. ports and importers to process and return containers quickly. While the buying frenzy for second-hand container ships continues, we suspect this trend will last until the global economy rebound stalls. With China's credit impulse already peaking, this could be in the second half of this year. So, from used cars to used private jets, now container ships. Yes, real asset prices are exploding higher, but how long will this madness last? I mean, that is, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Secondhand container ships, would anyone have thought there would be a surge in these things at the beginning of last year? But uh, as you can see, everyone, as you can see, these freight costs are skyrocketing. It's going to have an impact on the cost of goods in, well, in the US. It's going to have an impact on the cost of imported goods here in Australia. So maybe it might, might be a competitive advantage to some local manufacturers. We'll have to see. So there we have it, everyone. Yeah. Freight costs skyrocket and just drive up the cost of secondhand container ships. What do you reckon? Are you all surprised? As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're an importer, let us know in the comments how things are going. Some people have sent me things, as I said, just... These freight costs, they're getting warnings, they're getting letters. It's going to keep creeping up. Where do you think the top is? Will we see 5,000 or even more? We already are seeing 5,000 <laughs> from East Asia to North American East Coast. You know, how high will the global container index go? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links from Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, have a great day, I will see you next time. Bye for now.